be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose But when you talk to me Give me the impression that I won't scratch your surface Morning So, we're out at first location uh, We're out with Alex from Sleeper Dippers and uh, we came here last week, you might recognise the place but I called my scrap man and I know there's a couple more bits in the water that I couldn't get out so I bought the grapple hook this time and we're going to get them out we're going to add to the pile and the scrap man's going to come and get it later and then we can move on to our second location so let's get the mags wet and see what we can find This man gets shotgun cartridges. I get a scaff bar. So, more for the scrappy. And I've got a bit of wire. That's part of the. Um, oh, he's got one of them little end things on it. There you go. I think that was from a. Um, a Umbrella, it's all falling apart. Okay. Hello, Jack. You've made an appearance. Like my friend Jack on a TikTok, and uh, I've got a caster as well. A caster and a jack. So Alex has found one of my nuts. Nice and blue. <laughs> First chow can of the day. guys another shotgun cartridge unused that's been in there a while it corroded but uh, yeah another one to take down the police station cool so I've just logged on, locked onto a bike uh, that's the same bike that I couldn't get up the other day. You would not defeat me. Now as many lights as we can to see Dave ride this. It's not a rider, sadly. I think I'll, uh, I'll break me bollocks trying to ride that one. But uh, cheers, Alex. That's what I couldn't get out in the last episode. So, clicking onto something every down here, but we just pulled out a bag and I wonder why it's sticking to the magnet and it's just a load of bottle caps. Ha! <laughs> that's crazy. The mystery bags aren't always what they see. So now, we're gonna try and find the big thing that's out there. So, I've just had a pretty hard find. Let me just show you what I found. I got me a Hoover! Ah! It's emptying itself all over me. And let me just show you what else I've got. Got another shotgun cartridge. So it's another unspent. And what was 
up a little padlock, uh, what's that showing it? Condon, Condon, that's weird, okay never seen that one before and this thing, whatever this is, I think I've seen a couple of these before I'm just not quite sure what they are, so if you know comment below. I'll pull the car up. Well, while I've been having a play with a grapple look, I've got somebody's t shirt or something. Is it? Oh, just did a poo. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Hey, and Alex <laughs> has just pulled up something quite good. You have to go and see his video to find out what it is. So, yeah, that's it. Bit manky t shirt, um, rubbish bag, and like a bit of a, a rug or a fur coat or something. I don't know what that is, but pretty manky and uh, glad it's out of the water. Stop finding all the new starting pulling bits of this car up. I'm still filming. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So, I just found a bit of speaker. We reckon it's out of the car that we've been pulling up since we got here. So, uh, lovely bit of speaker. So we're going to have a little tidy up and uh, we'll uh, see you at the next location. Right, Catch you soon. Need... So before we leave here, we're just going to have a little clean up. I just thought I'd show you a couple of our finds. These are Alex's finds, but I helped pull them out. So let's have a little look. If I pan the camera down, you can see two bits of car here. So let's go over and have a quick look. So that's yep, nicely modelled by Alex. There's, um, we think, that's the rear left that's hand. The rear near side, isn't it? That's the wheel arch. Yeah, rear near side of the car. Um, and then we've got over here, we've got a bit of an engine bay. So I don't know if you can see that on top. That grill is just bit in front of the um, the windscreen would have gone across there and what he's holding on to there is actually the bonnet catch, the bonnet hinge. So yeah, scrap man's going to be well happy with him. And uh, how are you finding it Alex? It's been an absolutely fantastic day so far. Isn't it? You have not let me down. You have not let me down. Yeah, it's cool. We've Let pulled up some cool stuff. Well, you're going to have to watch my video to see what I find. That will be on Sunday, so. Yeah, I'll be putting mine out on Tuesday. So, uh, look, I see I'm getting into a nice little routine of every Tuesday. And um, I, I put up the other videos as and when I do them, you know, like the restoration. I've got a restoration app video coming out very soon. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to show you where I can get out. Time for a little clean up. As you can see, we're all now cleared up, ready for the next location. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're at our second location. Uh, we've just, um, if you can see just up there, there's loads of um, canoes and stuff, just up there. So uh, just gone we're, gonna, we're gonna keep an eye out for them and uh, hopefully not get in their way. But um, yeah, we pulled our first trolley out, so we got We've got something to put the scrap in now and uh we're here to fish and uh have fun we'll let you know what we get out so i've just pulled out a couple of bits a bit square and i'm reckoning this was part of a bed somebody didn't like their bed and they chucked it in the canal so there's two bits exactly the same one longer than the other but uh yeah finding stuff getting it out of the river <laughs> so got a couple of bits a little piece of scrap 
2p, that's my first penny. So I'll get to give me penny dance. Give me penny. And this funky looking thing. So, I mean, it looks like a bike seat, but I'm fairly sure it ain't, to be honest. I reckon that's off a motorbike. Because that's, that's a fat seat. Look at that. An old Indian. Not one of the red Indians. Do you reckon that's a keeper? Do you reckon that's a keeper? What can you do with it? I don't know. I'll find a walking stick. But I think I'll take that home, clean it up, see a how it comes stick out. stick for a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> We're having great fun here. <laughs> and so there's a battery. I hate batteries. Really pisses me off that these end up in the water. And we've got a bit of scrap and another penny. So, not too exciting, but it's clearing the rivers out. <laughs> so, I've just found a lipstick. Now it's time to go and ask if it's, let's go and see if it's Alex's favorite color. You never know. I pulled up that bit and thought I had another shotgun shell, but no, it's a lipstick. So, and what does that mean? So maybe you can tell me in the comments what company that is. It's not going to be worth anything now, but uh, yeah, got a lipstick. Hi hey guys, so we're at our second, lo well, third location, and uh, just a, a lock, and um, we're going to see what we can pull out. Uh, I've already, I put my magnet in, I just got stuck, so um, let's uh, have a see me pulling it out. very much in this bit but we should let you know if we find anything. A bit of scrap and a 5B. We got a 5B. <laughs> go 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 it's a rider I thought I'd get Dave a wheelchair for his old age. And it fits just right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah, so uh, Alex has just got stuck again. So uh, we're at our fourth location and uh, just the other side of the lock. But we have been here before, but I know there's loads of stuff in here. So let's see what we can find and I'll let you know. <laughs> so uh, just over there, I went over the other side to get his magnet off and then I chucked the rope in the water. So now we're using my beast to get his barbarian out. Yeah. So, Alex has found a magnet. I found, I found my own magnet. He found his own magnet. I found my own magnet. Because some idiot dropped the rope in and we had to go in with my magnet to get his magnet out. Oh, that wouldn't have been you, idiot, would it? Yeah, it would be, yeah. <laughs> well, not a lot of finds here, guys. But I've got a few bits. There's a bolt with a bit of perspex on it. And a big old can. And it's like a, a hinge because it's got the holes in it. And a few other bits, nothing exciting, but it's all out of the water. Morning. So we're at our fifth location and we were up there and we're heading down there. So we've just stopped at this little bit and it's interesting. Let me just show you a few bits what I've got out. I've got a track clip and an oil filter, a couple of random bits of scrap. This is quite interesting, it's got a thread on it and a uh, V shape on the top and uh, this is just like a, a pipe in a conduit for the electric cable um, but over here we've just pulled out a honking great bit of track 
So I'm pretty sure that that's a bit of track. But um, yeah, hopefully that keep the scrap man happy because it's heavy. See you soon. So just got some random bits of scrap and uh, not very interesting. But I did just get a fishing lure. So yeah, got me a little fishing lure. Clean it up. Still got a hook in it. So clean it up, it's good to go. Cool. So guys, we just found a track explosive. So yeah, we'll be calling the uh, Na uh, National Rail out and they'll come and collect these. And now we've got three of them because Alex has pulled out a couple as well. So yeah, it's uh, getting exciting. Got a couple of other interesting bits on this pole. Plus little mushroom head, little top of a bolt. And like this little disc thing here. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's not a track explosive, but uh, no, maybe, maybe it'll clean up and reveal itself. Let's uh, stick it just up there, out of the way. And we got a buckle. You see that? Yeah, an old buckle up or something. Not maybe a strap. But uh, yeah, fairly, fairly interesting spot this one. A little bigger bar. And a little bar. And I'm not sure what this is. This is the second one of these I pulled out. I'm hoping that they turn into something. We'll have a look later. And a load of scrap on there. Oh, yeah. Well, I told you we might have a guest turning up. And there he is. Mr. Crane himself. Just come and say hello. There's uh he works just around the corner here, so uh, I knew he'd, uh, he'd have 10 minutes for me. So, how are we doing all right? I'm very well, thank you. Good, good. <laughs> so, we'll, uh, we're going to have a little stop and have a little fag with our mate, and uh, we'll catch you soon. So, that was a nice little surprise. Had uh, the crane come and say hello. Nice, always nice to see Aaron. And uh, I've got a little cheeky something on my magnet, so I just want to show you what it is. Tool! I've got a file. I love finding tools. So that can be reused again. Got the tang on the end. I'll clean that up and uh, stick it in my tools. Lovely. That's the keeper. And what else we've got on here? A load of weeds. And just a load of scrap. Just constantly finding this sort of stuff. And. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, bring back when we find some more. So we've got a couple of interesting finds on here. That's uh, just a bit of rock, but I will break that open to see if there's anything in that. Oh, bit of a bolt. And nothing else left on that, a couple of nails. You right there? And one of these. Now, I'm not quite sure what this is. Something on the back there. I'm thinking bicycle bell, but it might not be. I'll, uh, I'll maybe clean it up and see what it is because that's that's intriguing me. If anybody knows exactly what that is, let us know in the comments. Cool. Oh, I just found one of these. I have no idea what it is, so I'm asking my many viewers if they can let me know what it is. So, oh, so I'm asking my many viewers as to what it might be. So it's that on one end, and it's all the way along. It's heavy, and it's got a very big hook on the other end. So, any ideas what that might be, people? Let me know. Oh, Sonic found a ring. Ding, ding. 
morning guys it's morning morning so um yeah we're, we're nearly done we're at the we're at location number six uh the bridge there uh it's quite nice but i mean we've pulled out loads of see all the rings look ding 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 and then there's loads of track explosives so yeah we've been uh we've had a banging day and uh Last thing I wanted to do was disappoint Alex coming all this way. And, uh, I'm not disappointed. Have you had fun? Oh, yeah, you catch me trying to open my butties, don't you? <laughs> I'm having a right struggle with life over here. So, yeah, we'll just stop at something to eat. Hey. And then uh, we'll probably stop here for a little bit longer. And then uh, we'll be backing up and getting going. Whoops. <laughs> and getting going. I nearly dropped my phone. <laughs> so, guys. We're just uh, finishing up, just having a little clear up. Just wanted to show you a few bits that I've got. Uh, have a track clip. Um, ding ding! Ding ding! And we got another chub canister. And we got track explosives. Absolutely loads of them. So I'm just gonna have a little count up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, wasn't it? Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21. So, 21 track explosives out of this one location. Now, I have had some before from here, so I kind of knew there was some here, but that's a lot. Uh, not as many as Nigel, but uh, yeah, we're all done now, and we're just going to be packing up. So, say hello, Alex. Well, I'm about to say goodbye because it's the end. Say goodbye, yeah, that's a good point. So, brilliant like, to be here. Like awesome. and subscribe to the channel and like and subscribe Sleep to Sleep Sleep the Dippers. Dippers. And uh, it's been a great day today, it's been really good. Loads of good finds. So, just to do a little recap we found shotgun cartridges at the start, we found half a car. We had that's that. Good as. Yeah, we had the. Uh, um, the bike that I couldn't get out last time. Uh, Alex is helping me get the bike out today. It was sunk in, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. <coughs> well, no, it wasn't so much sunk in, it kept hitting the bridge. Oh, was that it? So we needed to grapple. Ah, oh, fair. So we got that out. I thought it was sunk in. It looked pretty dirty. But, um, but yeah, we've, we've come up this way and we've, we've had track explosives, we've had tools, um, and we've had the wheelchair. Don't forget the wheelchair. That was just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely crazy. So, um, yep. And uh, so we're just going to have a little bit of a packing up and clear all of our scrap up to the other end. So I'll call the scrap man. Um, I'll use the same scrap man. Check out Stenner the Fencer. If you're ever in Northampton, call Stenner. I'll put his details up on the screen so you can see it. I'll, I'll add it to my intro. So I hope you've had fun, as much fun as we have, and uh, check out check out all the other videos on the channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next adventure. So my battery's probably going to die, but police are over there. They've just taken our track explosives. Battery's about to die, so if I get anything, I'll be lucky. Yeah, you can have my footage. Yeah. I'll, I'll not copyright it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Police were called. Catch you guys soon. How you doing? We're doing a blue bag just to the the car, yeah. I've also found some um, live shotgun cartridges today as well, so they're, they're ready for you too. I, I don't want them, I don't want five years for live ammunition. <laughs> Hello. 
Um, I was told to keep them safe, so I popped them there. Yeah, magnet fishing, yeah. So, the, the cartridges that I found and in this bag here are the yeah, track explosives. What do you know about these things? Well, we know that they've got two little metal eggs that go around the track. There they go. He's asked for somebody. Is somebody on the one radio? I think the bomb squad's coming. Wouldn't spy. Who are these? These are the BTP. BTP. No. Just more of your guys, are they? One of my guys, because I'm too off at five. He's come to take you over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not recording you guys, but I've got the police car. Well, he's got his cover. It's going to do handover now. Uh, <laughs> oh look, there's my blue bag. Oh yeah. Hey guys, we're here today. We've got the scrap cleared up. Uh, we've got our favourite scrapper here. This is Stenner, and uh, he's always available to work me out when I've got to pull stuff out. I've got him out of the car today, he's happy without it, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so, introduce yourself, Stenner. Hi, I'm Stenner from Stenner's Garden Services. We collect all scrap metal, not just for the dippers. Um, we are on Facebook, at Stenner's Garden Services. Uh, phone number is 07707 833 228. Brilliant. And uh, thanks for all your help, mate. I really no worries. appreciate it. No worries. Uh, we'll, we'll nip round and get the other one, yep. and then we'll be all done for today. Yep, no problem. And uh, yeah, good luck on your baby, mate. And uh, we we'll yeah. do have to go for a beer soon, won't we? Yes, yeah. hopefully. Okay, hopefully. nice one. Cheers, Dana. And uh, we'll catch you guys soon at the next scrapyard finish. Hey guys, last stop of the day. This is what we pulled out of the second pile. So Sten is just dragging it around and we're gonna lock this on and then we're all done. So uh, I'll show you back as soon as we've got it all loaded. All done. Okay, so we're all done, uh, all loaded up and uh, cheers for coming mate. No Much bother. appreciated. Anytime. And um, yeah, that's Wednesday sorted. So we had a really good time, all the scraps picked up, CRT should be happy with us and uh, brilliant. Join us on the next adventure.